Okay, how to create a boot disk is very simple. You'd go to a website called bootdisk.com. It gives you a lot of utilities that you'll use for, say, a USB key, or if you, even, if you have the old style floppy drives, uh, that'll work as well. What's not really well known is that you could use any type of USB device, say like a portable storage drive or even an iPod to make a boot disk. Um, why would you need to make a boot disk is, is a very good question. Um, generally they're not really used that much anymore unless you're a uh, computer builder. Um, what it does is it basically creates a, uh, a pre-OS or operating system environment. And what does that mean to you? Well, basically it gives you some basic commands like delete and format and partition. Those particular kind of es essential hard drive related commands that you don't need an entire operating system for. So for instance, if you wanted to access your hard drive without having to put a full blown version of a Windows or even Linux, uh, which, is a, which are full blown operating systems, you would use um, a boot disk to access those files and you can copy them off onto your hard drive or whatever you're using as a boot disk medium. Uh, this particular website has um, how-to guides of exactly how to step through it, but generally they're, they're created through um, one of two methods. Um, the utilities that are posted on the site and then also Windows has a create boot disk function uh, when, you uh, when you plug in any medium that is able to do it. So if you have an old Windows 98 Millennium or even XP that with a floppy drive, there is a option when you right click and say format on my computer on each individual drive or, or device rather, um, there is an option that you can check off that says, says create a MS-DOS boot disk. Uh, again, they're not really used that often for the average home user. Um, and also the Windows XP disks operate as boot disks as well. Uh, Windows XP or Vista, uh, or even 2000, uh, they will all operate as boot disks. So there's not really a need to create your own unless you want to modify it and put whatever utilities you want on there that you think that you'll need uh, in the future.